Versatile infotainment provides thousands of informative videos of our viewers. If you want more informative videos, please like and subscribe our channel. So let's go our topic. The American singer Camila Cabello is worth a whopping $18 billion million. Camila Cabello rose to fame first as a member of Fifth Harmony, a girl group. After that, she had a very prosperous solo career. In addition to earning two Latin Grammy Awards, five American Music Awards, and one Billboard Music Award, she has racked up billions of streams on music platforms. Early years. In March 1997, Camila Cabello was born in Kojima, Cuba. When Camila was a little girl, her family alternated between Mexico City, the hometown of her father, Alejandro Cabello, and Havana, Cuba, the home of her mother, Sinue Estraba. When Camila was five years old, her mother, Sister Sofia, and themselves moved to Miami. About a year and a half later, her father joined the family after failing to secure a visa at that time. In 2008, Cabello received U.S. citizenship. She went to Miami Palmetto High School, but left in the ninth grade to focus on her singing career. She eventually graduated from high school. But Harmony? No. Five. Cabello rose to fame initially as a member of Fifth Harmony, a girl group. In 2012, Cabello gave a solo audition for the reality TV show The X Factor. She performed Aretha Franklin's song Respect, but her episode was never shown because of licensing problems. She returned to the competition along with four other female contestants to create Fifth Harmony after being eliminated. After placing third on the show, they inked a joint record deal with Epic Records and Psycho Music, both owned by Simon Cowell. In 2015, Fifth Harmony's first studio album, Reflection, was released in the US. The album peaked at FIVE in Canada and New Zealand at in eight and in Spain at nine, with Kid Inc. their single worth it achieved, 12 in the US and three in the UK after being certified platinum. Featuring Ty Dollar, their song work from home sign off single off their second album, 727 peaked at number one on the US charts and sold 1.4 million digital downloads by the end of 2016. At the 2014 MTV Video Music Awards, the group was awarded MTV's artist to watch. Cabello had great commercial success touring extensively with Fifth Harmony between 2013 and 2016. My individual career. The rumors that Camila Cabello had formally departed the band to pursue a solo career were verified by Fifth Harmony on December 18, 2016. Uncomfortably, the trio made an awkward appearance on a pre-recorded New Year's Eve special just a few days after she left the group. Camila has enjoyed great success in her solo career. Released on May 19, 2017, her debut solo single Crying in the Club peaked at No. 47 in the United States. Along with other countries, her track Havana featuring Young Thug peaked at no fun in the United States and the United Kingdom. With over 888 million plays, the song surpassed all other solo female artist songs on Spotify in June 2018. When her self-titled first album was released in January 2018, it quickly rose to the top of the charts across several nations, including the US and Canada. The first artist to simultaneously be ranked one on the adult top 40 and mainstream top 40 charts was Camilla. That received two Grammy nominations in December 2018. One for best pop solo performance for a live rendition of Havana, and the other for best pop vocal album. Released on June 21, 2019, Cabello and Shawn Mendes' song Senorita debuted at No. 2 on the US Billboard 100. By August of that summer, it had risen to the top spot. On December 6, 2019, her second album, Romance, was published. It was also reported that she would be starting a tour in 2020 to promote the album. Her third studio album, Familia, with the lead track, Don't Go Yet, was released in April 2022. Bam Bam, the second song, peaked at No. 21 on the Billboard Hot 100 and made it to the top five of the Billboard Global 200 chart. The Familia album peaked at no. Six in Canada, no. Nine in the UK and ten on the Billboard 200. Cabello departed Epic Records in September 2022 and joined the Universal Music Group's Interscope Records. Charity! Camila participates in Save the Children as an active philanthropist. 
In order to bring attention to the disparity in girls' access to healthcare and education, she collaborated with the organization in February 2016 to create a Love Only T-shirt. She promised to raise $250,000 for the group in September 2019. I... Additionally, she has done a great deal of work with the Children's Health Fund, a non-profit organization that aims to give low-income children access to health care. She gave the foundation a percentage of the money she made from her Never Be The Same tour via Ponset packages in 2018. She has taken part in a number of fundraising events to support organizations like the American Civil Liberties Union, disaster relief efforts, and breast cancer research. She reportedly gave $10,000 to a GoFundMe page for an immigrant who was homeless in March 2019. Cabello launched the Healing Justice Project in January 2021 in collaboration with the charity movement Voter Fund to offer frontline workers mental health support. She participated in the March 2022 event for Ukraine charity event and organized and hosted a benefit concert in May 2022 to raise money for Protect Our Kids. Camila endorsed Football for Refugees as part of a partnership with Pepsi for the UEFA Champions League campaign. It was revealed in August 2022 that Cabello collaborated with Hans Zimmer on a song and sang lead vocals for the documentary series Frozen Planet 2. It was the winner of the Hollywood Music and Media Awards Best Song score in a trailer 2022 category. Individual Life from February 2018 to February 2019, Cabello dated writer and relationship coach Matthew Hussey. On the Today Show set, they first got together. In July 2019, she started dating Sean Mendes. In November 2021, the pair called it quits. What Cabello started dating LOX CEO Austin Kevich in August 2022. It was declared in February 2023 that the couple had broken up. Since then, Cabello and Sean Mendes have made amends in their romance before splitting up once more. Cabello has never shied away from discussing her struggles with anxiety and OCD. When some of the social media posts she had made on Tumblr in 2012 emerged on Twitter in December 2019, she was accused of using racial slurs, insulting language, and making insensitive statements. Following the message's public release, her Tumblr account was deleted. She then released an apology claiming that the content did not accurately depict her as a teenager and that she was horribly uneducated and ignorant and that she was profoundly ashamed of herself for using such offensive language. The uh, actual property? Camila paid $3, $3.375 million for a Hollywood Hills house in April 2019. She listed this house for $3.95 million in November 2021. A month later, she sold the house for $4. Three cents million. In a technical sense, the house was only listed for nine days.